Hello friends, welcome to Keyframes Online. I am Abhishek Inamdar. Today I will show you uh, how to make a light rig uh, which simulate uh, the GI uh, type of lights. Uh, uh, basically what GI does in V-Ray, uh, it gives a global illumination uh, which gives a secondary light bounce uh, which take a significant amount of time. Uh, so in today's lesson, I will show you how to fake the GI uh, process without uh, going through GI which is uh, interesting uh, uh, for this uh, light way. So let's get started. I'll go to uh, top view. I'll press T on my keyboard and uh, I'll just go and say shift F so it will remove the safe frame. I'll go to standard lights. I'll take target spot. Go to modify and this doesn't matter. I'll come down with the hotspot beam and the fall off make sure the fall off is not cutting your uh, edges of the uh, drawing so I'll come down with this one yeah. so now I'll uh, press E on my keyboard that is rotate and I'll go in this mode so I can rotate the light I'll press shift and make a copy. So first copy. Or that go to snap. It's much more easier to make the angle. Make two. And I am making an instance uh, of the lights. So when I make a change to any one of light, it will take all of them. Again, I'll fill these gaps. And the process is to make uh, the fake GI that is uh, all secondary bounces so there is a lot of lights but uh, it will reduce your rendering time for your project uh, many times I have used this technique to make my scene fast and uh, uh, and waiting for the GI process so one I have to lift slightly above the ground. I'll just uh, press shift again and take one more copy. I'll go top view again. I'll rotate it, fill this gap. Now again I go to top view, slightly scale this right, this one, again left view, I'll make again copy of this, all instance, I'll go top view, I'll say rotate, and I'll say one now selecting any one of this light slightly have to increase the coverage area fine and I'll come down with an intensity some around 0.1 because it's it should be very low because it's not anything it's only GI we have to give only lights not even shadows and there will be a one sun uh, simulating the direct sunlight so I'll take target target direct uh, just like this I generally take uh, behind the camera if you want you can choose any of the angles it's not a problem I'll just on the V-ray shadow so it will give me the crisp shadow and uh, I'll just increase my fall off I will not uh, touch the hotspot 
I'll go to left. Just take this upward. Make sure it's uh, simulating like a sunlight. And I'll go to left viewport. Something like this is fine. Now I'll say right click. I'll say set view to select light. I generally see my uh, layout like this. Uh, it's everything is fine, and then I'll press P and I'll just out of the light. I'll go to camera, and now I'll take a look, and uh, I'll just go to my tab. All again, I have, I will uh, show you the settings. Now I'll go to default scan line render again I will go to V-Ray now I'll go to V-Ray tab I don't want I, I have to off this one uh, default lights GI because I don't I'm not using it I, I'm not using a displacement so make it off it will re reduce your time I don't want area I want Mitchell Netravoli for anti-aliasing I don't want environment I always prefer exponential uh, but someone uh, if you want you can go for linear it's not a problem but generally I go for exponential to uh, there should not be a burn kind of thing now it's not my subject today so I'll not go to in GI it's fine it's fine and I'll go to setting I'll come down with noise threshold for good renders it is always set 0 0.01 but I have to be very fast with my test renders so I'll go 0.1 and global subdivision 2.5 so this two will uh, reduce your render time significantly for test renders I'll go to 32 render region division I don't want V-Ray log to see so yeah, that's it now I'll say my safe frame on. Now I'll just have my uh, test render. Just pause my video. So uh, this is what I got uh, from my test renders. So I'll just check my shadows. I'll just I'll go to tools and I'll say light lister. Light lister. I'll say this is direct one. I'll say sun and the uh, shadows are there. Shadow V day shadow. It's fine. I'll go to perspective again. So the problem is uh, the hotspot should not uh, uh, on lower side with the sun. So this has to be keep in mind. So now again I'll go to camera and again I'll render this one. I'll pause my video. So this is my render. Uh, so in this thing uh, there is a mistake in the shadow. The shadow is coming very very light and uh, the only thing uh, but the, I have uh, not taken care of the light intensity uh, maybe uh, like yes it is it has taken a previous setting of spot so I should be always the sun should be on one so there will be more energy uh, for giving a proper shadow so I'll pause my video again and I'll show you the image so this is my uh, rendered image so in this thing uh, I'm seeing the shadow uh, very proper and uh, this issue is always uh, taken care of the noise threshold which I have uh, uh, reduced by 0.1 so now we will do some uh, final rendering uh, setup so it will be a very good image uh, and second thing we have not given the environment so I'll add environment also so I'll press 8 uh, to take my environment 
taken a simple uh, sky and uh, go to settings let's say 0 0.01 and multiplier global multiplier should be 1 1 1 and this is what we have uh, done so there is a, a no high and low uh, GI settings in this thing. I'll tell you uh, frankly in this thing I have uh, this technique I have used a lot in walkthroughs basically uh, walkthroughs uh, take too much time to render even if you have quad cores uh, or Xeon so this technique I have used many for exterior scenes but, uh, but uh, uh, it's depend upon the choice uh, which way you have to go so I'll just render this final scene I'll just pause my video this is my uh, rendered image the one more thing I have uh, done in this thing I have uh, duplicated this uh, making one more instance and I have taken the light uh, down so in this case uh, there was a roof and it looks very dark so basically it's on, on the clear side so if you if you place uh, this light uh, at bottom side so you will not get uh, very dark uh, uh, things so this was my uh, today's tutorial uh, if you like my tutorial do uh, subscribe my channel that is keyframes online and uh, if you uh, uh, if you if you want some kind of tutorials do let me know do text me or do uh, leave the comments if you want any kind of tutorials so thanks for watching my tutorial Meet you in next lesson.